Under my drawing window, I have my command line window. It's this area down here with the text in it. And you can see right now that the bottom line says command colon, which tells me that I have no command active. In AutoCAD, many of our commands take multiple steps and require input from the operator. This is the interactive place where AutoCAD will request for input from, from you, and you'll be able to read what the requests are and make choices. So as an example, I'm going to go up here to the Draw panel and click on the line command. As soon as I click on this, you notice that down here in the command line window, it says line specify first point. So AutoCAD is telling me what I need to do to start my line command. It wants me to specify a point. I'm just going to click in my drawing window to start this command and you'll notice that now on the command line down here it's telling me specify the next point. So you can see that the draw command is a multi-step command. Each time I enter a new point it asks me for the next point and it will continue until I end the command. To end the command in AutoCAD I would either hit enter on the keyboard, I would hit the space bar, or I can right click the mouse and from my right click menu choose enter to end the command. You notice that now I'm back to my command prompt again, command colon. When you're going to start a new command, it's a good idea to glance at the command line and make sure that no commands are currently active. If there is a command active, say in this case the line command is active right now, and I don't want to use it, I hit the escape key on the keyboard to cancel a command. If a command is active, sometimes I have to hit the escape key two times to cancel all commands and get back to my command prompt. In addition to watching the command line for needed input asked for by a particular command, I also have options that I can use, and I can enter that from the keyboard on the command line. So I'm going to start a line command again, and I'll start drawing a line, and now I look down on the command line itself, and it's asking me to specify the next point, but you notice in brackets we have the word undo. I can execute the undo to take away that last line segment that I drew by hitting U on the keyboard. That's the capitalized letter in this command option. So hitting U and enter undoes that last line segment. Another way to access the command options is to right click the mouse. When I right click the mouse on my pop-up menu I get close and undo for the line command. These are the options that I have. Also you notice that enter and cancel and recent input are also available on my right click menu. On some commands I have a default option. I'm going to activate the circle command and I'm going to draw a two inch circle. So I'll enter two. Now I'm going to start the circle command again choose another point. Now notice down here on the command line that I have an option of entering a diameter, but in the angle brackets it says 2. So it remembers the last radius that I used. And because it's in angle brackets, if I hit the enter key, it just automatically uses that as the default distance. So whenever you see an option given in angle brackets, if you use the enter command, that is the default choice. The command line window is adjustable as to its height. I can use my mouse to adjust it so that I can see more or less lines. It's good to have it adjusted so you see at least three lines of your command history in addition to the current command line. This allows you to quickly look back and see what your settings are from previous uh, command entries. 
Also, my command line makes a history of all of the commands. If I go to the right here, you have a scroll box. You can scroll back through and look at the command history that you have used. Or I can use the F2 key to open a text window that contains all of the command history that's gone into the drawing.